remember, John is coming in the spirit of Elijah. <clears throat> okay, let's continue on. Okay. In verse 23, it says, When his time of service was complete, he returned home. After this, his wife Elizabeth became pregnant. For five months, she remained in seclusion. So she became pregnant when, she got, when he got home, right? right? And then she went into seclusion for how many months? Five months, okay? And remained in seclusion. It says, the Lord has done this for me, she said. Um, in this day, he has shown me his favor and taken away my disgrace among the people. Now in verse 26, it says, now the angel wants to go visit somebody else. So in verse 26, he says, in the sixth month, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, to the town of Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married um, uh, to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and the angel went to her and said, greetings, you are highly favored, uh, the Lord is with you. So he gives this big announcement to her that she's going to have a child, right? Amen. Follow me now. He gives the announcement to her while he, that she's going to have a child. Go to uh, verse 36. It says, even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. Um, and she, who was, who was said to be barren, is in her sixth month. For nothing is impossible to God. So how many months is Elizabeth pregnant? Six. Six months, okay? And it says, I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May it be done um, as you have said. Then the angel left. Verse 39. At that time, Mary got uh, ready and hurried uh, uh, to a town in the hill country of Judea where she entered Zechariah. Us home and greeted Elizabeth. So what month did she go to go visit Elizabeth? Six. The sixth month. Okay? Understand this. God is not telling you about all these months and dates and times just to put them in the book. He's doing this to tell you so that you know exactly what time everything's going on so that you won't uh, let someone else tell you when, when not to celebrate Jesus' birthday and when to celebrate Jesus' birthday. Because God wants you to know. He's always wanted us to know. And to tell you the truth, the church should have always known when Jesus' birthday was. Amen. And we will see how plain it is at the end of this, okay? Amen. Now, uh, so she's in the sixth month, okay? So now, you got your papers with you? Ben, did you save me one? I got one here. Let me have that. Okay, you got your you got your calendars yes, sir. in front of you? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, June is always about the sixth or seventh of June is always about the time of the Feast of Weeks Pentecost, which is Savannah. Okay? It usually starts in the first month. The first month for the Jews is the month of Nisan because God changed their calendars. So the month of Nisan, we, start, we, we started counting the priesthood duties. When you got to June, the eighth priesthood duties is in the month of June. So he finishes serving his course in June, right? He goes back home, the Bible says, in June, right? His wife gets pregnant, okay? So she hides herself for five months. Let's count five months. July, August, September, October, November. She's in seclusion for five months. Okay? In the sixth month, who went to go visit her? Mary. Mary. Who did she just get through talking to? The angel who told her what? She's getting ready to have a baby. So what time do you think she visited her in December? About the 25th. So, but we got to see that for sure. So in December, she goes and visits Elizabeth. Now, we have to look at something else. 
Go up to uh, uh, verse 56 in chapter 2. I mean, in, are we in chapter 1 still? Yes. It says, Mary stayed with Elizabeth for three months and then returned home. So she stays with her for three months. Why three more months? Okay, she's in December. One, January, February, go back to March. March is the time of Passover. John is born at Passover. Okay, so now John is born. The three months are over. She goes back home. But she's only three months pregnant now, right? So let's count for six more months and see. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. We should stop in September, right? <laughs> Sorry. Darn puppet school. Okay. So we're in, we're in March, and we count April, May, June, July, August, and we stop in September. So Christ is born in Tishri. During the month of Tishri, in the month of Tishri, Christ is born. Now, you have to understand something about God. God does everything on Mohadims. Means he does things at his day, appointed dates and time. Why do you think he called the Feast of Tabernacles the Feast of Tabernacles? 